Hey, good day, God. We're this beautiful evening in progress. This is taken from the uh, 8K Dodge and Loop on the south side of Temple. Our, our skies out across the southern portions of Temple are just clear as they can be. A few high thin clouds trying to work their way in right now across the western skies. And you, you take the satellite radar together and you see what we're talking about. A little bit of cloud cover out across the big country, the Contro Valley, trying to work its way towards us right now. Nothing that's producing any precipitation. It has been a dry, very chilly day. Temperatures pretty close to where they would normally be for this time of the year when you average it out. 24 was our morning low. 66 was the afternoon high. We certainly need some moisture. We're almost an inch and a half behind where we would normally be for the brand new year. Drought conditions across much of central Texas. We're at least in severe drought conditions from Waco to Fort Hood and points westward, but we're looking at severe drought back across the Hamilton County area. Burn bans. Now we popped in quite a few new counties since Friday. Comanche Mill, San Sabalano, Lampasas, Coriel, McClellan, uh, Navarro, Freestone and Limestone and Williamson counties all now posting burn bans up. Don't do any burning outdoors uh, anywhere with winds that, that have been blowing into those counties is against the law. You'll, you'll get fined for it. 57 degrees now under a clear sky, 33% relative humidity. Our winds are out of the south, southeast at seven miles an hour. We've got a front that'll be coming in on Wednesday. It's a long way away from us right now. It does not look like it's going to come in wet. It's going to come in dry for us. Tonight we'll continue with a clear sky, breezy forecast, and overnight low temperature down into the low 40s. The front comes in Wednesday, probably Wednesday morning. Out of the northwest, Coar winds 10 to 15 and gusty. Another little disturbance takes advantage of that cold air. It's going to swing across deep south Texas. We will be at the northern extreme of this little system as it comes through cold air in place and we could see some rain, maybe more like sprinkles. I think is what it's going to look like, at least from this vantage point on the forecast. It looks like light rain, maybe some snow flurries mixed in with that. It's not going to affect everybody. It's going to be our southern counties like Lano, Burnett, Williamson, Bell County, maybe Milam County on down to the Brazos Valley could see some light rain. The rest of us are just going to be looking at clear to partly cloudy skies as we head into the weekend and very cold. Look at this 22 Friday morning, 23 Saturday morning, still below freezing on Sunday and Monday as well. Next shot at rain for us comes by about Monday, so it's very dry. We need the precipitation. Does not look like it's going to be a major winter event for us on Thursday, but keep an eye. We could be refining this forecast in the days to come. Sports is next. Stay with us.